Okay, continuing on, sorry, this is in two parts. Um, the next thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna look at either over-applied or under-applied manufacturing overhead, depending on um, where the balance is in the manufacturing overhead account. So you can see that <clears throat> in this first example, there was $680,000 that was actual that came in as manufacturing overhead. Um, of course, on previous slides, you know that this consists of indirect material indirect labor and other random manufacturing overhead. All right, that was all totaled up. And at the end of the month, it totaled, I just gave you some figures here, 680,000. But the amount that was applied based on the um, overhead, the predetermined overhead rate times how much uh, was actually used, say if it was uh, based on machine hours, then this was based on the predetermined overhead rate times the actual amount of hours, and so that's how the applied came about. You can see that these two numbers are not the same. There's more over here, <clears throat> which means there's a balance in the actual um, overhead, and you can just see here that there's less here, more here, so more needs to be applied, right? You get that? Okay, let's look at this example. In this case, the numbers are switched and there was actually only 650,000 in costs that were actually incurred under manufacturing overhead. But there was $680,000 that was applied. So you can see just by your very own eyes that there's actually too much that was applied. So it was what we call over applied. All right, so now what do we do with that $30,000? It can either be, whether it's underapplied or overapplied, it can be allocated to the different accounts where it originated from, which was work in process, cost of goods sold, and finished goods, or it can be closed out directly to the cost of goods sold. If you think about it, the origination of the cost of goods sold was from the finished goods, where finished goods came from was the work in process. So this basically distributes it over all of them or it just closes it out directly to the work in process. In the case where the <clears throat> overhead was over applied, meaning that we had applied too much manufacturing overhead, we're simply, simply going to adjust that by taking it out of the cost of goods sold. So here we're gonna take that out of the cost of goods sold. I think this is an important slide because you can see that if manufacturing overhead was under applied, meaning that applied overhead is less than actual over applied, we need to apply more overhead, then we can simply increase the cost of goods sold, which inevitably will reduce net income, right? More expenses, less net income. On the other hand, if the manufacturing overhead was over applied, that means we incurred too many expenses. Cost of goods sold is an expense. So we're going to decrease the amount of cost of goods sold, which will increase the net income. And this is really the one that I want you to focus on. This just shows you that I had a certain amount of unadjusted cost of goods sold. Then I take into account either my under applied or overhead or under under applied overhead or over applied overhead into account to make an adjusted cost of goods sold. And that's what's gonna ultimately go on my net income. So here you can see this is basic financial accounting that I took my sales, whatever my sales were. Here's the cost of goods sold. And now we know a lot more about the origination of this cost of goods sold to come up with a gross margin. Then of course we take our administrative and selling expenses to come up with our net income. So you will be asked to do something similar to this, but you already know how to do that. And the final thing is that service companies are no different. It's just that you don't base it on necessarily uh, direct labor hours or, manufacture, or uh, manufacturing hours since there is no such thing. It's usually based on more of a job. So it's more on the direct labor. That's all I wanted to point out there. Okay, that should do it for this.